If you are not quickened, you cannot pray. The quickening spirit will have to come and give you capacity, a drive. Spiritual energy will be transmitted. It's on the strength of that energy that you begin to gain ascendancy. I can pray for hours without you knowing if you are my roommate. Because prayer is not shout. Prayer is quickening. You glide on the ability of the spirit. Oh my God. Yes, somebody is contradicting me in the congregation. Let me explain to you. When you begin to speak in tongues, because you can speak in tongues at will, there is a... Just like... How many of you have... You know the generator? That they need to pull it in order for the dynamo to oscillate at a certain frequency. And when it arrives at that frequency, you don't need to external. So when you start prayer, because that's the same, dunamis. Dunamis, the word dunamis is, was, is, is from the word dunamis that we have dynamo. So it operates on the same principle. So when you begin to pray in tongues, you start mechanically first, because you need to apply external energy. So you start it with your will mechanically. A time comes when it arrives maximum oscillation. You don't need your mechanical strength again. You've been quickened. The spirit energy that sustains the protocol. It means it's no longer at your expense. You are praying at the expense of the Holy Ghost. So why can't you pray for 18 hours? Oh, it's not necessary. If you are 21 years old here, you never prayed for 10 hours before. You are a comic figure like Batman. You are a joke. You are a joke. You are a joke. I learned this early. And I invested in prayers. Before I became 20, I'd already started praying. I had a prayer life. I must have. It takes me five minutes. Five minutes. If I want to. It's, who can try it? but it's not that I will not be able to teach again five minutes this whole place will be flooded it will be flooded the time will come I'll begin to see angels and see what is happening in heaven five minutes I'll show you because I built the capacity you no perception at all your spiritual senses need inoculation they need they are dead they You've not depended on, on you don't you've not depended on that facility, so it's not strong. You believe in scheming, you believe in craft. That's why you are where you are. Because in the flesh you attain to your least potential, but in the spirit you attain to your the greatest potential. And your father doesn't need to be prominent. You don't need an uncle to ask for an action. Who gave John the Baptist for an action? He was in the heart of the wilderness. And the Bible says that the entire Judea had themselves to him. Fulani has men invaded where I stay. People were carrying their luggage. And I was driving in. They were going like this. Me, I was driving like that. You know why? Before that day broke. I had peeped. And according to what I saw, the way was downward, not up. When you start having children and then they start falling sick and they can't talk, then you will wish you knew how to pray. Have you been in emergency before? You have never been there. <laughs> have you been between life and death before? We prepare for nothing as a church. We are it is the spirit that quickens. The flesh it profits nothing Jesus said that the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life 
it means that there are words there are communications that are spirit that's what jesus said that's what we call the feedback the kind of feedback that comes to you because you have you have started you are pioneered an altar and you are living life according to prescription you are going to have feedback feedback of all kinds you receive words that are spirit words and then you will know that most of god's communications are not in cognitive speech words that are spirit promptings stirrings no ways words because he wants he will give you a lamp for your feet first words so that they can order, order your steps words that are spirit and then you begin to learn obedience and walk by those words then you become wise by the holy ghost then he begins to give you light he will never give you those ones if you have not mastered how to walk with the lamp i was in dubai and i was hungry so i went to the restaurant of the hotel that i was lodging and when they brought the menu it was written in uh indian letters so i made a pick at random and the waiter brought food strange food it was colorful green in color so i thought it would it would bless my soul and when i tried it out it was like royco spat it out and said what's this thing and i said this this drug is drug that this food is, is good for your health i said i'm not sick what i want is food well we had a communication problem he started speaking in Indian, so I, I left the dining table. And when I got into my room, Jesus was waiting for me. There is, he wanted me not to eat, so he, he created. Because later, I now discovered that on that menu, there was a delicacy. But he closed my eyes, so it's not there because it was not time to eat. And Jesus walked through my room. And he said to me, the youth, the youth, he said that four times. He said, use your power of sight. To deliver them from distraction and i will open the gates of nations to you it was like nine seconds of utterance those nine seconds shaped my life for the past 18 years 18 years was shaped by an encounter what is shaping your own the things you are doing now why are you doing it? i hopped from campus to campus north south east and west for 18 years my budget on flights was 1.8 million per year because in, on campus they don't have the money to pay for my flight i paid i paid and i wasn't me prophet of it or not it is the command of jesus it is not your invitation that brought me it's jesus I went to preach in many places they abused me all kinds of stuff like one of the nccf meetings i went to preach they put me in one boys quarter somewhere where there was heat have you been to zamfara have you been to you don't know heat here you don't know where there was heat and mosquito i kept quiet I kept quiet. I didn't say anything. Finished my mission. Then I called the president and said, Don't invite any other preacher and put here. Then the next week, he invited my friend and put him in that. Meanwhile, I, I told that my friend. So I now called him and said, Because you didn't obey what I told you, the Lord will look for you. The great one. He will look for you. Going for meetings before, I took a flight from Lagos to Abuja. I was going to Sokoto, Lagos to Abuja. Abuja. When I got to Abuja, I called them. I said, please, I don't like waiting at the airport. By the time I got to Sokoto, I had to wait for 45 minutes before they came to me. Meanwhile, I called them from Lagos. When we got to Abuja, I called them. You know why I was not angry? It was Jesus that sent me. 
of Jesus. It was Jesus that sent me. I did his will and I left. The people thought they were wise. When we finished, I went somewhere, went to um, to Oweri, Futo. All the people in JCCF refused for me to come. It was one brother. So it, it was at his expense that I came. The first night, the Holy Ghost moved like a fire. And people gave so much money. I was in the hotel room when they were in the lobby talking about how to share the room. I came there with my flight ticket and left with my flight ticket. The people that were fighting the guy that put up the meeting came to talk about the disbursement. Of... You know why I was not angry? It was Jesus. I saw all kinds of things. The generation was risen. I saw it for 18 years. It was last year when I came for your meeting. Jesus came back and told me that the time that I will do that, he said, he said, that youth mandate he gave me as he expired in your meeting last year. Say now prepare for the nations. Prepare for the nation. Jesus, he came to me. The whole world has opened to me. The whole world. Jesus saw all the abuse, but he knew that I was willing to serve him and to even serve wicked men because of him. Feedback will come. I was funding it. Funding my air travels. Those were the days of it. Aero contractors. I'll go there in January. Book for my meetings till December. In January. They had one system that time. Aero contractors was for me. They set it up because of me. I, I, I was everywhere. I was like an invisible man that could disappear and appear. And I was on God's head. There was no motivation. Nobody came to thank me and said, Where do you? I wasn't looking for commendation, applause, ovations. I just wanted to serve. Every year by the time I get to December, the anointing multiplies. Every year. For many years now. I was born as Tamara. But the power by which I speak now, even my mother heard me speak the last time and asked me, are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? Because the spirit has helped my father. Jesus. Most people are serving stuff, serving things, not serving Jesus. The language of the spirit will come. It's a feedback. Because you have adopted the culture of prayer. Abuse upon abuse. But it was not them that sent me. It was Jesus. It was Jesus. It was Jesus. And in 2017, two years before I came to your meeting, the Lord spoke to me. He said, I'm going to open South Africa to you. Then I, 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 I told him, I said, I don't know anybody there. He stopped. You know, when I'm talking to God and I ask a question, it's not every time he answers. If it's the wrong question, he doesn't answer. That's okay, sorry. He said, I will give you access to that nation. And you'll be part of the people that will shape Christianity in that land. God spoke to me in 2000. 17. 2019 that year i came shortly before i came to you went to brazil spraying in the night for nine nights it showed me again 
the vision. We were on a line, a long line. And when I came, I was shown they will give you a ticket and the nations that you will labor most you will see the names of the nations so mine was Ghana, South Africa and the United Kingdom I saw my friend Gideon on the line I couldn't keep into what he was given 2019 when I came to your meeting in August Jesus spoke I have come to set you free so that where I am there also will my servant be and he was talking about my secular that it was time for me to be set free because previously he has said I'm going to give you a job you're not going to full time ministry you will sit on that job until you become a full blown apostle then I'll send you to the nations of the world he came back again said now I have come to set you free. in the journey of my work with God I can tell you seasons how seasons open the administration behind it the ministry of angels encounters messages that came through high channels of glory I can give you a chronicle most of the time we are not consistent in our work with God that's why they, they, your life is shallow if they say let's talk about God you have nothing to say new season comes upon us. A season where Jesus is king. So every valley must be elevated and the mountains humble. The cedars of Lebanon must be cut off. Oaks and Bashan must be removed. And all the stones must be gathered out because Messiah is coming we're going to pray because i don't want to take much of your time even though the lecture has not finished this prayer is a prayer of commitment but i've heard your cry oh holy one of zion and i enlist i enlist as a foot soldier such a functionary that will carry out your instructions that will take your kingdom to the next level such men that will extend the frontiers of the kingdom of god i enlist this morning i enlist i enlist i enlist i enlist To incline my ears perpetually to your counsel. For where you lead, there will I go. My life will no longer be my property, but the authority to order my ways will pass out of my hands into your hands. And as I stand before your altar to call upon you, 